everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, we awoke in this strange elevator with a not exactly cooperative girl who still hasn't given us her name, so we have no idea what her name is at this moment in time. And we also kind of beat the living shit out of this room, like all the puzzles and stuff, because I had prior knowledge due to the fact everything failed last time. Anyway, moving on. In this episode, we're going to get the fuck out of this room, shall we? You ready? I'm going to put the key in. You don't need to ask me every time you're going to do something. Just hurry it up. Right, right, I know. Here goes. Stop talking and do it. Yes! It unlocked! Hmm... Then we just have to open this panel. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, red button. Once you leave this elevator, the novel section of the game will begin. For more information on the controls for the novel section, have a look at the help section in the archive. Are you ready? Just do it! Alright, alright, message received. Here we go. Three, two, one, and push! And then it exploded. Oh, or the hatch opened. One or two. Oh. It opened a hatch in the ceiling? What? Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? What the hell are you talking about? Of course an elevator is a ceiling hatch. How do you expect the service crew to get up on the top of the elevator to work on the wires if that need ever arises? That's just common logic, really. Have you not seen a movie? Ever? Or played a video game? Usually people escape via hatches in the ceiling of an elevator. When trapped in an elevator. Or if the they're in uh, dire straits to get out of the elevator and the door won't work. Good talk. You found it! Alright, it's open. Now let's get the hell out of here. Is there something you'd like to share with the rest of the class? What? What's wrong? Oh, yeah. I guess it's a little high for you, huh? I'd say that's at least six feet. Maybe more. Alright then. Climb up on my shoulders. Your shoulders? Yeah. What? Is there a problem? I mean, do you have another way to get up there? Because I sure as hell don't. Yeah, that's right. Why? Something wrong? What's that look supposed to mean? I don't know, she looks pretty nonplussed. Like, exactly like we've seen her every other time we've seen her. What do you think I'm going to do? Oh, come on! I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive. Hand to God. Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs or... I knew it. You know what? He was literally saying that's not what he wanted. He just wants to get you up there, damn it. You sick bastard. Uh, I, I was just kidding. Right. Look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? Fine. On your knees. What? Copy and paste last response. You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. Okay, that's fair. And I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. Why did you have to make that weird? Is, is this some fetish I'm just not familiar with? 
climbing people? Is, is that a thing for some people? Because it, it doesn't seem like loot or anything. So Neil. And if anything, your thing seems far looter. Like you're into some domination or something. Not that I'm judging. I'm just saying, if we compare the two things, I feel like yours is significantly looter. Oh. Okay. There. Ready? Bring it on! Oh wait, I, I could have read that better. There. Ready? Bring it on! <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. What? Wait, what are you going to do? Here. We. Go! I should do the wind thing again. She can fly? No. Jump good. How in the hell? Alright, give me your hand. Thank you. What? Oh, uh... What the heck are you? Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. No, yeah, I, I, I gathered that. Because, I mean, you know, you're not a man? As far as we know. And, I mean, you don't seem buff enough? Superman is pretty buff, aside from having various powers, and I've only seen you air quotes fly. And I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or Merman, or a Wolfman. I mean, yeah, granted, again, you're probably lacking some equipment to be any of those. Especially Batman, he's got a lot of equipment. Like, have you seen his utility belt? And also, Aquaman, this is kind of a weird place for Aquaman. I mean, granted, he can be wherever the fuck he feels like, because he's got that magic triton and super strength on top of being able to talk to fish. But his dealie is kind of being near the coast. He's not often found, like, this far inland. Then again, I don't know where the fuck we are. Maybe we are near a coast. I'm not a Brahmin or a Common or a Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. Oh good, I, I was worried about that. Any other man-men things you want to tell me that you aren't? You're not a, uh... What's another one? Hmm. Are, are you a policeman? Or a fireman? Perhaps you're a... I've got nothing else. That's all I had on the top of my head. Moving on. My name is Fi. Thank God, we finally got her name. Hello, Fi. I guess you could say, I am no man. Thank you. I... That's a reference to something, isn't it? I'm drawing a blank. Macbeth. The man... Right? Is it Macbeth? I feel like it's Macbeth. N no, he, he wasn't the son of any man, I think was the thing. Or of any woman who's born natural, so I don't remember. I am no man, I am pretty sure it's a reference to something, but I'm drawing a complete blank, and it's gonna annoy the hell out of me now. Just come on. One of these days, Witch King. Okay, now that's definitely a reference that I have no context for. Whoa, what's up with this place? Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Yeah, no kidding. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, we're in an elevator that doesn't... elevate? Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. So we could have just chilled out in that room with no food and water and died of slow starvation. Like, it, I mean... It didn't really make a difference. 
either we come out and play this game or we just kind of chill in that room until either they grow bored or we die, whatever came first. So we had to escape anyway, so... I mean, no skin off our nose, I guess. But they lied about the falling. That rabbit said it was gonna fall. He was just screwing with us? So it would seem. Indeed. Then why? Forget it. Look. I mean, I guess to motivate you to try and leave. Seems kind of superficial if you think about it. I mean, they would want to leave the elevator shaft regardless of whether or not they knew it was going to fall. Because then they'd be trapped in an elevator shaft with no source of food or water. They would have to leave. More people. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and... A kid? They're all wearing bracelets. Huh. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here, too. Fair. Right, well, let's go say hi, then! <sighs> hey! Hey there! Any of you guys know what the hell's going on here? No, we don't. Woman A, eh? I haven't been out here much longer than you. Oh. They grabbed you too, huh? Grabbed? Oh. Yeah. I got in my car and went to start the engine, and there was this white smoke. I think we all shared that particular experience. Well, I mean, probably not the car, but definitely the white smoke and the creepy dude in the hoodie and the gas mask. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. All five of you were in one elevator? No! Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Oh, hold on there, kid. Did you just say Dio? Oh god, now... Now time is gonna stop! Oh shit! Everybody run! Oh god. Okay, okay, I was... I was preparing for a time stop, but it didn't happen. Wait, which one of you is Dio? That would be me. Oh, okay. False alarm, everyone. It's not the vampire Dio with the world. It's, it's just some guy named Dio. With blonde hair and a really interesting sense of fashion. I like the top hat, by the way. This little guy here is Quark. Okay. Nice to meet you, mister. Nice to meet you, Quark. Uh, right. Nice to meet you, too. So, what about the rest of you? Tenmi, OG, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Uh-huh. Tenmi, OG. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you've got it right. So, you'd be Tenmi, OG then, right, sir? I mean, it makes sense. The other two were women's names, and a woman he is not. As far as we know. Yep. And Alice is... Me. Ah. The one barely wearing any clothes. Got you. Actually, Alice sounds familiar. She looks different, but... I don't know. Something about her seems... Familiar. Was she in the first game? Probably in a different outfit, but... The name seems familiar at the very least. Then again, Alice is a very common name. She's Luna. Okay. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Luna. Um, hey. Nice to meet you too. What's she so nervous about? Well, I mean, a little nervousness is expected. She's just meeting a new person in a warehouse. Where none of us know what the fuck is going on. 
and our lives may or may not be in danger. I'd say this is an appropriate time to be somewhat nervous. Right? And you are? Right. Uh, I'm Sigma. And this bundle laughs is Phi. Good to meet you all, I guess. Say that again. Okay, sure. <clears throat> and this bundle laughs is Phi. And this malnourished harpy is Phi. You know what? I like that better. Good uh, addition. Better? Bastard. What? I mean, you're not exactly the happiest sort. Um, are you two? Are are we two what? Ha! <laughs> not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think. You think? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. We met just now in that elevator. That's the truth. Uh, yeah. See so your bracelet there? Yeah, sure, why not? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. And yours. Fi, right? Now let me have a look. I thought so. What? Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. Huh, blue three pair. Interesting. They both say pair and have the number three. Just like Phi and I. That's catchy. Phi and I. No, wait. The color's different. Ours are red. And yours are blue. A oh, sharp eye there. I mean, it's kind of blatantly obvious, but, uh, sure. What about yours, uh, sir? You can just call him Ten Mioji. Holy shit, I remembered that. His name is so long and weird, I didn't think I would. Hmm. Ten Mioji, right? I think I'll call him Ten. Or Ten Me. Ten Me? Ten Me. Let's call him Ten Me. Show him yours too, ladies. Red three, blue three, green three. Hmm. Oh. Red, blue, and green? They're different. So you've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out then? Now, all the people that were in the rooms by themselves have a solo bracelet. All of the people with a in a room with another person have a pair. The pairs have the same color, and they're we all have the same number. No different whatsoever. Figure what out? Wow, Sigma, you're slow. Sigma and I are the red pair. Yes. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Yep. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... So they got put in their own separate elevators. <clears throat> okay, that's great and all, but... What do pair and solo mean? Well, you see, Sigma, a pair is a group of two. Sometimes more, depending on if you're playing a card game. And solo means one. You getting it, Del? Don't got the foggiest idea. Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess it's true that they don't exactly know what solo and pair means to their situation, I guess. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? I mean, I do, but that would be a spoiler, so I'm a clam up. Maybe it has something to do with the game. Indeed. I mean, this is called the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition. 
And three is a multiple of nine. So that game? Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm calling it the Nogami Game Advent Edition. You guys saw him too, right? That rabbit thing? Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. The others explained that after they had escaped from their own elevators, they'd gone around the warehousey room where we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try and open this door, the one with the nine on it, when Fi and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? You think we'd have done it last if there was? I mean, that's fair. There's some sort of... I don't know. Machine off to the left here, but... Well, give it a shot, why don't you? Okay. Maybe I will! Hmm. Looks like force probably isn't going to work either. Damn. Well, I didn't really think that'd work anyway. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. What? No. A big metal door? I could just push that one handed. No big deal. It's just a giant metal door made of unknown metallic materials. Locked very hard with some sort of electronic device next to it. It'd been probably just push it with your bare hands. Alright, well... How about those three doors over there? I told you already! God! Each one's got a digital lock on it. Okay. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. Well, how hard did you try to break down the door? You sure about Why that? Why would I lie? Yeah, I, I, I kind of have to agree about Quark. What possible reason would he have of lying to us about that? Hmm. Okay, are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. Great. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. You know, honestly, now that I think about it, if Alice is the Alice that I think she is, you think she'd have some kind of PTSD about seeing that number nine on that door. And that is? I was the first to escape. But you just... Earlier you said we weren't that far behind you. That means I know who was in which elevator. Okay, sure. I watched all of you come out, after all. Right. And? Well, I was in the one-third from the right. Okay. Tenmyoji sure. was the second out. Okay. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes. That's the one. Dio okay. and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's. Right? Yeah. We did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. Wait, then... Hold on, I want to do some quick math here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people. Since this is a non game, nine is a big factor. That means we're missing two people. And that last room so far doesn't have anybody attached to it. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Okay. Are you... are you saying there's still someone in there? 
I mean, logic would dictate. And also, if we think about this another way, we seem to have solos in pairs for one of three different colors. The colors red, blue, and green. We have a blue pair and a red pair. We do not have a green pair, but we have a solo red, a solo blue, and a solo green, which would lead us to believe that a green pair is probably somewhere. And logic would dictate by process of elimination that the leftmost door must have our green pair. I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Well, I mean, I think we're, we could say for pretty sure, certain now that uh, that's the case. Maybe we should go take a look. I mean, with that evidence I just piled out via logic. Yeah, good idea! Hey! Anybody in there? If you can hear me, just... I don't know, make some noise! Woo! Is that me? Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex? Room? Is that some kind of card reader? Maybe so it, it seem. unlocks it or something. Maybe. There is one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, Ambidextrous means you can use both of your hands to write and do other tasks with. You have no preferred hand. So an Ambidex room... Is... Both? Room? I don't know. I don't know what Ambidex really means. I just know what Ambidextrous means. Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Probably. Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? Yes. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. That's fair. I mean, no one's talking about the Nonary Game right now, except for me, of course. And maybe you, person watching. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a key card? <sighs> nah. I got nothing. Not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. What, you have something important on you, Dio? The rest of us dug through our pockets as well. But it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. That's impressive. What, did they clean out your pockets while you were unconscious? I, I don't mean, like, take their stuff. That part's obvious. I mean, what, did they reach into his pockets, find a bunch of lint, go, eh, he's got lint in his pockets. Well, let's just get rid of that while I have him knocked out. You know, we'll wake up surprised, like, oh, man, all my stuff's missing. But hey, at least my pockets don't have lint in them. Silver lining. Maybe there's no one in there. I mean, I suppose that's a possibility. Maybe it's the one blank room. But the fact we're playing a nonary game and we don't have nine people seems... bizarre. No! There is. There's gotta be. <laughs> what makes you so sure? I, I just told you. It's because we're playing a nonary game and there's not nine of us. I mean, granted, Sigma doesn't know... well anything about a nonary game, but the fact of the matter is that it's a nonary game, meaning nine is a big part of it. So logic would dictate, yeah, there's probably got to be nine people. Huh? Uh, well, um... Oh, well, that's irrelevant. What's that? that is a person leaving the uh, final room. Look! Yeah, I, I saw. There was someone in there. The fuck? When? What the? Who the 
hell? Clover. Clover. I I remember you, Clover. <laughs> Oh, my God.